What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Again, I'm not sure why this is so, uh, laggy. Uh, I think it's because of the light. I think it's because of the lighting. This is actually really dim outside. And so, you know, there's less light going into the sensor, therefore it has less frames to work with. Uh, our neighbors are making their house look worse. Uh, the, uh, the, she's, uh, I think she's a mom or something. She's up against the, uh, side of her house, and she's just, uh, huh. It looks like she's rubbing something up against the house and paint is coming off of the house. And under the paint is like this wood, wooden, wood look. Uh, I don't know if they're like repainting the house, but I feel like if they're repainting it, they, would, they wouldn't have to do that. They wouldn't have to remove the paint. Because frankly, it looks really ugly the way it's all patchy right now. I don't know. I wouldn't question it. Uh, so today I'm just hanging out. Uh, apparently way more people watch this daily vlog series than I thought. Uh, you know, I was talking with some buddies last night, and, uh, yeah, it turns out some, a lot of people watch it and they just don't comment. Uh, just like buddies of mine, but, um, yeah, I found that crazy. For breakfast, I had a cheese bagel. This time, it was from... I'll ask my parents. So, uh, usually, it's way less laggy now. Usually, my parents get bagels at, uh, at Safeway, right? And they have this really amazing bakery and you know, they just have fresh bagels. And uh, we bring them home and we eat them. Specifically, the cheese bagels are really phenomenal with some um, uh, some onion some onion and chive uh, cream cheese. It's very tasty. It's very unhealthy as well, very greasy, but it's very good. And uh, uh, yesterday my parents got bagels, cheese bagels from Fred Meyer. And I realized uh, it kind of went, it's kind of consists like, it has a very soft consistency all the way through, as opposed to the Safeway bagel. Safeway? I'm not sure. As opposed to the Safeway bagels, where it's like crunchy cheese, and then the breadiness of the bagel, and then on the bottom, like the kind of uh, chewy cheese of the cheese pooling down at the bottom. And, uh, you know, you kind of you kind of need that. Uh, anyways, for lunch I had, my mom made some really amazing like shrimp meal with rice and uh, chives or something. It was very, very tasty. I loved it. Uh, sadly, my dad doesn't really like shrimp all that much, so, uh, you know, we don't really have shrimp all that much. Um, and for dinner, I think we're having some sort of... some meal that has to do with rice and it's cooked in a crock pot. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's that's what's happening today. I'm probably gonna play some CSGO. It's a new operation, but, uh, here's something that doesn't make any sense. Why would you lock, uh, basically a temporary expansion pack behind a $15 paywall? Uh, I don't, I don't know what they're doing, and I think they're crazy people over at Valve. Uh, you know, last night I was I was praising Valve and their and their great accomplishments, right? But um, I don't know. They do some really weird stuff sometimes. Despite how much I like their anti cheat, you know, um, I heard some anti anti vac dissent, right? And uh, I hope people realize that vac is actually a really good anti cheat system, uh, except in TF2 because it's a really outdated version of vac in TF2. Uh, but in CSGO, basically, not only do they have the trust factor system, which basically pairs people more likely to cheat and toxic people with each other, uh, and it's like the secret number that everybody has, uh, but higher level people not only can use the Overwatch system, which is where you can choose who bans who, uh, but also they're teamed with people with the higher trust factor who aren't toxic. And uh, not only does that work really well, which means you won't run into, won't run into cheaters if you aren't too toxic, but also... Uh, if you are cheating, um, it uses like machine learning and all those buzzwords to uh, really easily detect who's doing what. And uh, then it goes to the people with the highest tr tr trust factor and they say whether or not they're cheating and that's basically a confirmation, yes, they're cheating. And uh, you know, that sounds like a bottleneck, but it only brings some of the Overwatch cases uh, to, it only brings some of the cases to the Overwatch and uh, that's only to confirm the case and also to improve their machine learning capability. So uh, the reason why, you know, I don't see that many cheaters in CSGO at all is because, um, you know, I have a pretty high trust factor and, uh, you know, I just think that's a really interesting system and it works on Linux. Uh, speaking of Linux, um, I said this in my thumbnail yesterday, I think um, Easy Anti-Cheat and BattleEye Anti-Cheat are going to start working on Linux because Valve's Steam Deck runs Linux and they said that, quote, uh, all Steam games will work on the Steam Deck, which is crazy because they've basically committed themselves to having all Steam games work on Linux, which is absurd, right? Uh, because, you know, a lot of these games depend on these invasive anti-cheats um, and they're 
almost completely unplayable on Linux because it depends on Windows libraries. But, uh, you know, through some Valve money, I, I suppose, some, or through Valve, uh, you know, really caring about Linux, thanks Valve, um, they uh, have convinced BattleEye and Easy Anti to, or Epic Games to, uh, you know, look into Linux support. EAC already has confirmed Linux support for all of their games soon, but uh, BattleEye is uh, in the works um, with having a deal planned. Uh, but yeah, frankly, that's just so, so, so awesome. Uh, I'm just very, very happy about this. Uh, you know, back when I started using Linux back in um, late 2019, I, I kind of accepted the fact that a lot of the popular games nowadays with those crazy invasive anti-cheats wouldn't work. But, uh, you know, nowadays, the, um, all, these, all these games are starting to work. Uh, Linux has, you know, exceeded my wildest expectations, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, they hear this news and they're like, oh, should I, uh, should I switch to Linux, right? And um, I don't think switching to Linux will ever be a viable option for a lot of people. Uh, because a lot of the people who ask that question, uh, the reason why they haven't been using Linux is because they don't really like uh, tinkering with their computer all that much. And if they do, they kind of like tinkering with their computer as in they like using control panels, and, you know, GUI elements to move around your taskbar and stuff, you know. Uh, but uh, on Linux, you know, uh, it's kind of integral to the point of Linux to be able to tinker around with your machine and, you know, having it kind of regularly break uh, from your doing. Uh, and, you know, that's something I like to do. That's something that I enjoy, right? Uh, but a lot of people, a lot of Windows users, a lot of Mac users, uh, I, I don't think they're gonna, I don't think they're gonna enjoy Linux because, you know, it needs a lot of, um, it needs a lot of tinkering. Uh, now keep in mind, that's not inherent to Linux, right? Uh, if you use something like Ubuntu, uh, and you don't really do much to it, and you just watch it on YouTube, uh, it, it could run for a couple years easily. Uh, and that's why a lot of people are hooking up their, uh, my, my buddy, he actually got Linux Mint on his mom's laptop, and it works just fine for her, because all she does is just open a web browser. And the nice thing about it is that they don't have to pay for uh, antivirus, because nobody really makes viruses for Linux. Um, and so, you know, it saved the money in the long term. And I think, uh, you know, TLDR, uh, you know, unless, uh, I don't think Linux is a viable option for a lot of people, pretty much. Uh, and I don't think you should switch to Linux unless you're fine with tinkering your, with your computer a lot. If you like doing that, then switch to Linux. That's what I did. But if you aren't into that, uh, you know. All right. See you, dude.